A very rare occurrence in Southern California, heavy rain in August caused by a tropical storm. But what made Tropical Storm Hillary possible? Let me explain. First, let's talk a little bit about what influenced the track of Hillary. And for that, I'm going to show you a national map with temperatures. You'll notice the midsection of the country has a lot of heat right now. And the reason why we have a big ridge of high pressure sitting over the middle of the country. Now around a ridge of high pressure, you have clockwise circulation. Now let's head over toward the West Coast because at the same time that high sitting over the country, we actually had a little weak area of low pressure sitting just off the West Coast. Notice that around the low, you have counterclockwise circulation. So in between, you sort of end up with almost a funneling effect. And if you position Hillary just to the south of that, you can see how it's easily just going to flow right through the middle. Also, because of the way that the flow is kind of oriented here, you get this almost siphoning, whereas the storm got farther and farther north and into this flow, it accelerated. And that's going to play into part of why it weakened in just a second. But let's talk a little bit about how it got so strong. You can see all this red coloring here over the ocean. This is an indication of very warm water. This green and yellow, this is an indication of cooler water. So the storm initially is moving over some pretty warm water. That's why it got up to category four strength pretty quickly. But the track of the storm eventually took it across cold water. Now, normally the cold water really makes it rare for tropical systems to get to the West Coast because as tropical systems work in the cold water, they start to weaken and fall apart. So if this had been going at just a slow pace, it likely would have fallen apart before it reached Southern California. But remember, we had a little bit of that siphoning effect and that really pulled the system to help it accelerate north, meaning that it really didn't have a chance to weaken very fast before it reached Southern California. While tropical storms are rare for Southern California, they're not unheard of. Tropical storm Kathleen moved over a similar area as Hillary in 1976, bringing heavy rain and catastrophic flooding to inland areas. We've also had other instances of dying tropical cyclones throwing rain our way, such as Doreen in 1977. A tropical storm in 1939 made landfall in Long Beach. Since Hillary did not make landfall in California, the unnamed 1939 storm remains the last storm to make a landfall in Southern California.